Okay, everybody, we're here with Jason from Strung Out. Jace, thanks so much for having a chat with us. Thank you for having me. Um, look, I just want to talk about Top Contenders. It's your 26 track retrospective, greatest hits. How did you pick the songs to put onto that album? It must have been incredibly difficult. Yeah, they, it was pretty hard. I think the fans had a lot uh, to do with it. I know we put some posts up. And, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, and, uh, um, it's hard because your favorite songs as a, as a band member playing is not the same as what people, you know, the stories that you put behind them and the, the emotional content is not the same as what people perceive them to be, you know, okay. so everyone has their favorites and uh, it's hard to separate yourself, you know, it's hard to like separate what you think is your best work and yeah. what other people's idea of that is. Were you surprised by any choices that the fans came up with? No, I, no, not really. <laughs> you know, these are clearly our greatest. Yeah, yeah, you know, crowd response when we play the songs is usually pretty obvious, you know, what people's favorite songs are, so. But, you know, yeah, I'm um, doing it for the fans. There were three new tracks on that album. Were they songs that, that didn't make it into the last album or songs that you made purposefully for this uh, brand new retrospective? Um, actually, they were songs that we had didn't have room for the last record. Oh, but okay. They didn't have lyrics or melodies to them, so we just finished them up and threw them on. Okay. How's the Soundwave Fest been going for you so far? I can't believe how organized it is and how well we've been treated. You know, the food's great and the crowds are amazing. And it's, it's awesome. I'm okay. really proud to be a part of this. Okay. And uh, who, are you, who have you been most excited to sort of talk to, meet backstage while you've been playing? Um, you know, like I grew up with, to Bad Religion, so I'm just a dork for Bad Religion. Every time they play, I'm at the side of the stage and I make sure I'm here for every show. So Have you managed to, have, have you talked with them yet? Do, have yeah, they, yeah, do yeah. they know how... They know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that's already, you know. I'm yeah. Oh, well, just about, I mean, just about the album, and especially your record company, you've been with, it's Fat Rec Records for about the past, I mean, 20 years, which is a ridiculous feat in itself. What have they done to deserve such a, a, a loyal band? You guys have been, I mean, it's been a pretty good Nobody relationship. Nobody else wants us. <laughs> Simple <laughs> Don't as say that. that. Don't say that. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. You know, Mike's always been fair, and you in this business... And, you know, relationships are an important thing in life, you know. And if you can maintain relationships, that's the most, the biggest, you know, the lesson I tell anybody about being in a band is maintaining your relationships with your fellow band members and with your label and with your fans and just constantly maintaining that. And, um, you know, we'll see how it goes, you know, but so far it's been, you know, he's been fair, so yeah. can't argue with that. No, you can't argue with being fair. What are your plans for the future? What have you got upcoming? Um, you know, we're going to go home and write. We've been uh, touring off this record for about a, a year now. Okay. So we're going to go home and, and write and see what happens, you know. Um, and, and that's all I can... That's all I can... You know. <laughs> that's what you've got in the foreseeable future. Yeah, you know, we try not to push things too hard, you know. Um, kind of let things manifest themselves, you know. And okay. uh, I like doing that and letting, seeing where life takes us, you know. Not being so in control of everything is nice. Okay, all right. Is that something that you've sort of tried to put into your albums? I mean... You guys have been pretty in control of how you've produced everything. Yeah, I, I, I am, I'm, I'm learning more to like just let loose a little bit more, you know. Um, you can't, when you control things, you're just going to go crazy. When you try and control things, and you try and control the tempo of things or where things are going to go or the timetables, it just, it'll drive you crazy. Okay. So I think um, me personally, I'm trying to take a more natural approach to letting things happen and, you know, letting the chips fall where they may and see how okay. things go. So when it comes to the sort of production of uh, the album, you're, I mean, you'll hit a critical mass and that's when you'll go, okay, we've got the songs here, we've got yeah. everything we need to do. Yeah, and I'd like to let, you know, like I brought up the natural thing, just take a more natural approach to our recording process and not be so anal about stuff and more humanistic about our, our next record, I guess. Okay, what do you mean by humanistic? I mean like the bass player and the drummer playing, recording together, you know, things not being so Pro Toolsy sounding. Um, uh, this is just my opinion, you know, there's four other guys in the band, but um, I'd, I'd like to do, strung out to be a, just create a more of a, a natural sounding record, you know, okay. more organic, I guess you could say. Um, and just for the fans here in Melbourne, I mean, I think you did some secret shows last time you came around, is this true? Uh, yeah, uh, that was a couple, few years ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you got planned any secret shows for the next uh, little while? Anything that we should hopefully know about? I don't think so. I think well, when this is done, we go straight to Japan. Oh, okay. And then, um, <laughs> then we're off, you know, so. Okay, fantastic. Well, thanks so much for having a chat with us today. Uh, you've been watching 1700. We're here with Strung Out. Check it out. That was Abby. <laughs>